Hello everyone, hello everybody, this is Fort Solstice 25, Winter Solstice 8. And you're probably noticing this world as a better green now. That's right. I changed it from desert biome back to extreme hills. Now it doesn't mean it's gonna just snow right now and then just cover everything in snow already. No, 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 that's way too soon for that. Like, I actually sort of ran a command about that. So what I ran was slash weather clear one million. So for a million seconds, this is going to be clear. So among the list of things that I've been doing to this given world before us, which is the world I specifically made to contain my town of asterism within, I have added a bathhouse. I've added a bathhouse. It looks great. This is the men's side. Over here is the women's. It is very well decorated. By the way, something I learned about is that if you have um, one of these on either side, on both sides of each other, just like on each other, they will be perfectly fine that way. And it is very nice. We have this neat little garden site through the back. We have a semi-privacy fence going on. It's not like that private, but it does give some amounts of privacy from whatever this way. Because, you know, with an arena here, you're going to get a bunch of brutes and stuff. Now, I did not really do any work down there. But I did add this up here for a little more significance to the arena itself going on. And I would say this looks nice for a sword. Like I'd probably wield this myself. I've finally added in this little bit of walkway and like added a bit of like a guardrail to it. You know, for safety reasons. Because, you know, it's not like I try to make people fall off of deadly jumps or something, right? I mean, who do you think would honestly do such a thing? But yeah, over here I'm planning to shove um, some redstone stuff, like some kind of redstone shop or something. And over here I was thinking maybe I would have like a blacksmith or something. Or maybe I would shove them down this way and there could be like a path going through here. I think that could be fine. And I could also um, go to the redstone shop also. So that would be like two birds and one stone and it also bring a little more clustering up with um, structures. I think that would be quite an idea. Now, I feel like I should probably consider actually um, removing some of this rail and making a pathway out here to go to something else or something. I just feel like there should probably be something over here. Better than just like leaving it like empty space, like, I don't know, maybe a leaderboard or something. Maybe a schedule board or something. I have no idea. But yeah, other than that, for the most part throughout the town, I've been doing just very small changes, like this for example. Like I made the roofing a lot, lot better. It looks much, much nicer. So yeah, quite fancy. I've not done anything really under there. 
I forget if I've had this here or not beforehand, but I'm sure I probably did. I'm still debating if there's anything I could do for this. But, yeah. And then somewhere around here I have barrier blocks around and about for both um, protecting water sources from freezing up because of the biome conditions. And also I have barrier blocks around to sort of keep players from just exploring outside of desired locations. Now I don't know if I actually uh, showed anything about this in a previous video, but yeah, this is basically the new start to the jumping puzzle of Clock's Edge. Now, when I actually release this map, I'm actually probably going to uh, title it Clock's Edge as the whole thing as like a jumping puzzle parkour map sort of deal. But other than that, I will say you could perfectly just explore the rest of this fine, basically. Like, there is nothing holding you back. Like, I just want it to be rather subtle that there is some um, stuff for, like, traveling around this, the entirety of this place for and exploring it in, like, oh, another angle and a new sort of light, to say. And ultimately, I want to say something else I kind of want to work towards in the developing of this as a sort of map of world town, whatever. I kind of want to try to add in more tall things, just to give uh, a little more to look at than all this really short stuff. Like, I want more things just sort of poking into the sky, just like jabbing its finger in the clouds, like, ha, you just got stabbed. Just like, totally shank a cloud, like, <coughs> you should have given me that money, you puffy sucker. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> it's just sort of like an idea. I think I might try to go for a little bit better. There's still a number of things I need to include here and there. But other than that, it's really starting to shape up. Now, I haven't only been really working on this uh, map. Like, there's been a number of other maps I've actually been working on. Like, um... There's one for a server where, actually I've been working toward things for the server, I should say. And then there's, um, there's one I started recently, which actually, let me just, uh, take you guys there. So this is a project I started recently. Like, very, very recently. I'm not sure exactly what I'm going to call it, but yeah, it's just sort of like a little artistic thing I started up, though I'm probably going to try to figure out how to make it into a little bit more. Now, this has been a fun project for me personally. Like, I just love throwing in all these different shapes and at different sizes and different angles and stuff. It's just sort of got a lot of neat little perspectives going on for it. Like, I feel there is a lot of neat potential for this. But, um, whatever the scenario, that's gonna be for another time to really become of it. If you have any ideas or suggestions, feel free to do so. Leave them down in the comments below. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. <laughs> I still have my um, little gambler skin. It's so classy. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. Four one solstice twenty five, winter solstice eight, and have a good day. Bye bye.